The benefit of living in a free society is that we all have the choice to be rich, poor or middle class. Why do most of us choose to be poor or middle class then? The answer is simple because most of us still follow the industrial age thinking. Go to school, get good grades and get a good job. Sure that may have been great advice in the industrial age, but we're living in the information age now where that advice is frankly useless. The other advice that is better is go to school, get good grades, build businesses and become a successful investor. There are four and only four kinds of people. Employees, self-employed, business owners and investors. This is where the majority of people end up. Poor or middle class actively struggling from day to day and living in a bubble of pseudo job security and this is where the rich are passively making money of a well calculated risk the employees are about people who work 9 to 5 office jobs who shy away from risk and desire security and benefits self employed people they don't like to take orders they value their independence and they also don't like to depend too much on other people The business owners are the people who own a system instead of owning a job. They hire competent talent and delegate as much as possible. They cultivate this ability to find the right people and hire the right people to do a job well. And the investors, they do not work for money. They let money work for them. It is actually always better to have one foot in each of the quadrants rather than just one or two. You can make money from four different places at once. It doesn't make sense to restrict yourself to one, does it? Even as a student, it is entirely possible to be in all the quadrants. I intern at companies and freelance in the vacations, teach high school students, run a YouTube channel, and then use that money that I make in investments. Look, I'm not denying that both the self-employed and employed make money, but how much they make is entirely dependent on how hard they are willing to work. As long as a lawyer is taking on cases, he's making money, but the instant he decided to take a vacation, the cash flow stops. On the opposite side, the business owners and investors set up a way that is going to make money even when they're off to Hawaii. The right side of the cash flow quadrant is pretty good, huh? Well, then why are so many people on the left side? They say, "My job is great. Sure, I don't make that much money, but it's so secure." No, it isn't. The people on the right side who employ you can burst the bubble of job security at any time. Ironically, it's much more secure to run your own business. If it works well enough, you may never have to work again. But yeah, you have to make these things work. And you have to choose whether you want financial freedom or financial security. So, here's the thing. On the left side of the quadrant, you actively work hard and make money, and each and every penny you made is after all that hard work that you did. On the right side of the quadrant, at least you make some passive income. The ideal place to be is to be an investor, and if you notice, it lies on the first quadrant, which is positive in both the y and the x axis. How do you enter here? Most people can't directly get there. So, you can start from anywhere else on the quadrant depending on your skill, risk taking capacity and the timing you want. At least you have a hint as to where you should be heading now. It is so simple and I was unaware about it until recently. So, I decided to talk about it in this video.